Everybody, welcome into the Oklahoma Video Studio. Dave Morris here, just days away from opening night, New Year's Eve celebrations and ceremonies around downtown Oklahoma City. Here to tell us all about opening night co-chair Christy Boone, um, not pictured, Tyler Bolton, yes. your other co-chair, yes. I think, uh, from Arts Council OKC, Lindsay Pendleton, and we have Caitlin Carter as well, Program Director and Communications yes. Director. Ladies, thanks so much for stopping in. Thank, Thank you for having us. us. How's it going so far? I mean, it seems like a lot of prep has to go into opening night because, mm -hmm. as we will learn, there is just a lot going on, a lot of performers, a lot of venues. How's it gone so far? Um, from a co-chair perspective, it's extremely well supported. Um, anyone who's volunteered with the Arts Council for Festival of the Arts or different things that they uh, host know that it's a very well-oiled machine. So. They gave us the information we needed back in August, and we started working on making the calls to volunteers. We've had wonderful co-chairs and committee members in place, and they've already had their meetings, and now we're just gearing out, doing some promotions, making sure we have great people out there, and yeah. What is the timeline that goes into this? <laughs> well, um, typically we do start in early summer as far as uh, with the co-chairs making their calls to the volunteers. Um, we know it's a big commitment because it is a holiday event, and so we want to snatch people up as early as we possibly can. And then as well, just booking the bands. Um, it's a big night for the musicians as well, so we want to make sure we get the, uh, the pick of the litter for our event. Well, there are a ton of bands, and it's highlighted, headlined by David Bruster and the Walkabouts. What do we know about these Walkabouts? David Brewster, right? Brewster. And Brewster. the Walkabouts, yes. We'll actually pronounce like it correctly. Sorry, David. <laughs> David Brewster and the Walkabouts. It's a uh, New Orleans style, and they just recently changed their name, so isn't that right? Or? Yeah, they're formerly yeah. Uh, David Brewster and the Storyville Scoundrels, so if yes. anybody's okay. familiar with them. So if you may know the Storyville Scoundrels, it's the same The group. same yes. group. Gotcha. Yes, 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 yes. But they cover everything from uh, pop to rockabilly to swing music, and it's all with this great New Orleans style energy with the big horns and all of that fun stuff. So I think it's going to be a really great energy to kind of count down to the new year. All right, so that takes us to the new year. That They actually count us down into next year. However, let's start with this weekend. You guys have promotions coming up because yeah. wristbands are involved in this, and there's a discount of wristbands at yes. the Thunder Game. So the general price is $10 for the wristbands, $8 in advance at different locations, which 7-Eleven, Mid-First Bank, Plenty Mercantile, I know I'm missing... Oklahoma City Museum yes. of Art, as well yes. as um, on our website, artscouncilokc.com. Yes, okay. and then this Saturday, we'll actually be at that Thunder Game. We have a table in the concourse that's being set up. We'll have Michael King, a magician who's actually performing opening night. We'll be with myself, Caitlin, my co-chair Tyler, and I think, is Peter making the table mm -hmm. as well? So yes. all of us will be there to answer questions. And wristbands are only $7 at the Thunder Game. So $7 if you're yes. at the Thunder Game, pick up the wristband. Peter DeLisi, executive director, right? Mm -hmm. yep. mm -hmm. Yes. He'll be there. Uh, magician Michael King, his name will resurface here shortly. Uh, also at the mall, you guys have a promotion coming up. Yeah. Yes, we do uh, Mall Media Day, <laughs> which will be December 26th, day after Christmas. Great day to be at the mall. Um, it's from 1.30 to 3.30 in the lower level by Macy's, and we'll have a wonderful preview of all sorts of performers from opening night, including um, Michael King again. You know, we love Michael King. He's just fabulous to, to watch. JB, uh, who and else Kesta is coming? Dekai. Orchestra Dekai is coming. That's it. Um, as well as David Brewster. David Brewster will be there as well. And the Bricktown Clowns will be there to kind of um, delight and entertain in between. As in like real clowns? Real clowns. Real clowns. Real clowns. Face paint, the whole Face paint. works. Gotcha. Yes. Non-creepy Bricktown non -creepy, Clowns. Non-creepy, happy, yes. wonderful. <laughs> Joyous. Joyous. <laughs> Friendly clowns. Yes. Friendly clowns. <laughs> exactly. Yes. All right, that's December 26th at Penn Square Mall outside of uh, Macy's. You guys will be there dressed up like Santa outfits or anything? Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> I well, went with that the will be a surprise. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you have to come to see. Uh -oh. You have to come to see. Nice. So, I like that. You know. That's good. All right. Uh, <laughs> let's talk about then New Year's Eve and opening night, uh, the, the bands, the acts, because I'm sure you guys have been working hard and getting numerous acts, and then uh, our sponsors as well. Yes, uh, Caitlin and her counterpart at the council worked really hard to narrow down wonderful talent and then get them put into place. And they also came up with a fantastic idea of having locations. So in the Museum of Art this year, we actually get to have, so OKC Improv will do their standard stuff in the theater space. Do you know a little bit about yourself? Yes, a little bit. Uh, and then um, we'll have this really great hip hop area. So it's Young Trey, mm -hmm. uh, Sativa Profits, mm -hmm. 
uh, LT. LTZ and JB is uh, the 10 o'clock slide. Yeah, it'll, it'll be the first time ever that opening night has ramp. Yes. So we're super excited so that wonderful. JB is going to be the one bringing yeah. that to us. And you'll us. anchor it at the 10 o'clock. And then they're doing a Fresh fun off his tour, right? That's yeah. Yes, uh -huh. yes. Fresh He'll actually be at the Hall Media event for Fresh Off His Tour. So. A hugely successful year for him. So it was yes. a huge, huge get for Caitlin to yes. have him at well opening done. night. We're really excited that, that he will be there. Cool. Yeah. Lindsay provided us with the venue and schedule of performers mm -hmm. at the uh, at the library, which is always a great place to go. I remember covering this yeah. event a few years ago, and it was just as it can be, super cold. The library was the place to be. Mm -hmm. Had a great band in there. People were teared up in the atrium. It was really cool. And this time we have these guys, the Orchestra okay. de Calle. Okay, and they will be performing the Latin pop. Right, and people will actually get to dance. So there will yeah, be like yes. a little dance floor area for people to get out and kind yeah, of It's boogie. a lot of fun, really high energy. Mm -hmm. It should be a great time. And then another thing I'm really excited about is we have so many great singer-songwriters that are local here. And Caitlin was able to come up with this great idea of having like this girls' jam session. So in City Hall in the chambers upstairs, uh, at the beginning, I believe it's Kenzie Charles mm -hmm. at seven, and then Allie Harder at eight, Susan Herndon at nine, and then the three girls, uh, the three ladies will jam together at 10. They're putting the band together um, at 10. Yeah, yeah, so we'll awesome. have a little jam session. And, um, so City Hall has that. Michael King, mm -hmm. I see, yes. is lurking around with yes. his <laughs> magic as well. The Both. Breakdown Clowns will be there, of course. Yes. <laughs> They do face painting and perform balloons, I think, mm -hmm. typically. So mm -hmm. and we should mention all of this culminates in Bicentennial Park, right? Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. And that's where the, coincidentally, the Finale 5K Takes kicks off, off yes. at 4 p.m. before the event even starts. You guys ready? At Bicentennial. Are, are you ready to run this? No. We're, we're not we're gonna allowed be to run. Oh, I we're see. Doing other I things. see. Because you have higher level yeah. helping. Yeah. We have, to, we have right. to organize it. But it's a, it's a great race. It's a lot of fun. Um, we're really excited this year. There's a brand new course. It's okay. US ATF certified. Okay. Uh, it kicks off in Bicentennial Park, goes through downtown, up through Heritage Hills, which is just a beautiful area to run. You're I right. have done some races mm -hmm. through there. And it's a lot of fun. You know, we go around and notify people, obviously, about the street closures. And as a result, people will come out from their house and cheer people on. So it's just a really great, fun atmosphere supportive environment to be hoofing it through in the cold <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. you know as you, you start your your New Year's Eve plans um, looks like it goes up to 17th and then circles back around back down to Bicentennial Park right yes. outside the mm -hmm. Civic Center Music Hall yeah. sponsored by Integris yes, yes. presented mm -hmm. by and my co-chair Tyler likes to say it's the thing that you do to burn off all the calories for the food and things you'll consume on site at our food trucks get yourself prepared night yes. <laughs> right. so you'll have right. food trucks on premise as well right yes mm -hmm. yeah. yes um, anything else when you, oh, Elemental will be there for some coffee. Oh, right, for the Finale 5K, yes. they're, they're doing free coffee, yeah. And we'll have, what's special about our 5K is that we've sort of taken an artsy bend to it, so there's performers at the, the start and the, the finish. Um, we will have Sam Carey, as well as... Michael King. Michael King. <laughs> the Michael omnipresent King. Yes, Michael we King. Adore Michael King. <laughs> um, as well as a Jazzercise warm up by Midwest Jazzercise, so that'll get everyone off to a, a good and festive start. Cool. And then um, we will have the o Oklahoma City Thunder Storm Chasers as well as the drummers. They'll activate. They will storm activate, chasers, I believe, at 3 30, which is exciting. Okay. Who wouldn't of course you they do, If right? you had to have someone <laughs> cheering you on at a race, who would be better than the Storm Chasers? <laughs> They're just so fabulous. You're right. Going to get that. the energy up. Mm -hmm. So. Yes, and the, the top male and top female actually get um, sculptures, like um, many, it's Dean, I can't Emil. think, Emil, he does the beautiful sculptures, and most people can see them in the sculpture park every the year. The windscape. Yeah, yeah, and they're kind of like the vertical, like, windscape, they're gorgeous. Anyway, so we'll have uh, Those scaled down versions for the yeah. prizes for the top male and top female. Very cool, times. we're looking at some B-roll. Uh, I should note that that is done by Dewberry, Dewberry Productions, mm -hmm. perhaps. Dewberry Cinema. Yeah. Dewberry Cinema. That is well done, guys. Uh, there it is. The 90 second and the 30 second clips. Well done, and clearly from uh, previous years of people having a good time. We should also mention you guys have various social media aspects involved in this. Yes, yes. we are super excited that for the first time ever, um, an Arts Council Oklahoma City event will have a Snapchat filter. Mm -hmm. So what does you this can Snapchat filter look like? Are we talking like whiskers and dog ears? Are we? Oh. Or we're still in the final stages of, of you know fixing the fixing the design uh, okay. of it. But we're we're super excited to be having it. It will be geotagged, so it's only available in the location of opening night. Cool. And you can find us at. Arts Council OKC on Snapchat, as well as on Twitter and Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, the hashtag for the event is hashtag opening night OKC. So please, you know, snap, tweet, 
send us all your great photos so we can follow along with what everyone's doing. Because there's so yeah. much happening. It's great to see everyone's experience. Very yes. nice. And we should also mention all this information can be found on the website at artscouncilokc.com. Looking back at 2016, uh, did you ladies at the beginning make resolutions and how have those panned out for you <laughs> this year? I like to... This will be good. <laughs> I like to roadmap <laughs> things I want to accomplish for the year. I don't sure. do resolutions. Okay. And you're like at the end of the year, I want to be drinking coffee on a couch, talking open night, right? right? Absolutely, with two lovely ladies well, and you. Check. <laughs> yes, done. Uh, I, I foresaw that. We're dream uh, makers, right? Thanks, ladies. <laughs> um, yeah, there were there were specific things I wanted to accomplish, and I was able to accomplish them, and it Very was nice. interesting. So Very just nice. roadmap it. Just roadmap the beginning of the and year. And you ladies, how, resolutions? Are you resolution people? Um, I'm not, but I'm very excited. I just started working at Arts Council f in 2016, so that's been a huge and wonderful and exciting thing for me. So I'm really starting 2017 off very excited for the coming year. Um, cool. I had hoped to run a half marathon, but I, I fell down a, a mountain and Aww. injured myself and was not able to. So we're aiming for half marathon 2017. Oh <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 you fell down a mountain? I, it went careening down a bit of a yeah, rocky embankment. and. Yeah. <laughs> it, Not to laugh. It derailed my. Were you okay? Yeah, I was fine. Um, I, it derailed my my training a little bit. But gotcha. Well, that's so. okay. That's yeah, legit. Fine. And it's cool. <laughs> it's uh, the East Coast is rocky. It's dangerous. You know? I feel terrible because um, I definitely failed in my resolution, and I have no mountain to blame for it. Um, I I tend to think small with my resolutions because I know my capabilities for the most part, and so my resolution was. Better dental hygiene. You still have time. And I made we it through like half the year of flossing and then it kind of dropped off a little bit. We can stop yeah. at CVS on the way back and get some floss. We can make it 75 happen. 75-year-old grandma's coming out. Get you some floss, little lady. <laughs> we still got time. We can make it happen. You know? I'm sure okay. Paige and Todd in the studio are like, Dave, this where is this, this going? This is gone <laughs> off the rails. This is. Oh, speaking of off the rails, the event would go off the rails without fantastic volunteers. Nice. And very, uh, we well still, done. thank you, it back. Uh, thank you. We Circling. still do have uh, an opportunity for people to volunteer the night of. So in, in what capacity might that be? Oh my goodness. Any and every capacity. Yes. I mean, honestly, we understand that giving up your holiday is a, is a big thing. So we try to support and demonstrate our appreciation for our volunteers as much as possible. So if you volunteer, you do get free admission to the event and we always make sure that there's time for our volunteers. We, we schedule the shift so that they can come and help and then also enjoy the event. So that well it's sort of a yin and yang. It is yeah. a fun event. Uh, you can't go anywhere downtown without just seeing people having fun, happy, smiling faces, yes. kids having a blast, uh, parents are as well. So it's a good event and volunteering would be a lot of fun. Yeah. You know, it's kind of a shared experience, I guess. What is the email? I forgot. The email if people are interested in volunteering. You can just email at info at artscouncilokc.com. Mm -hmm. Info at artscouncilokc.com. And then you can also just go to our website, artscouncilokc.com, and there's a volunteer sign up form. Or just reach out to us you know, on Facebook. Or Very good. Uh, some nice. of those hashtags opening night OKC, the Snapchat, and the Twitter. Probably Instagram too, Arts Council <laughs> OKC. Ladies, thanks so much for stopping in. Thanks so much for having us. Really Best of luck with Always everything and uh, happy holidays. You as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.